Hi everyone and welcome to its Electronic Technocrat. In today's tutorial, I'll be telling you about how to write an assembly program using an A05 simulation and execute it using a Edsim 51 software for addition of the two 16-bit numbers. So we all know what are 16-bit numbers. Alright, so I don't need to go in details in that. And we also know what is microcontroller 805 and basically if you want any more detail about 805 and you can just email me uh, with which I will be providing you my email address in the description below so don't worry about it you can just email me that I am not getting the point about 805 and or I don't know what 805 and exactly is so I can make a video on the 805 and pin diagram as well as is working as well all right so not a problem so let's start it we are using an assembly program here basically we are not going into the C programming language because it's very much a common thing so something new to uh, just come out of the box so we are actually using the assembly program right now this is how an assembly program looks like basically and these are the comments each line has a comment here this comment actually tells us about what exactly this line or this code line is doing basically in the code or what is its role okay so we'll study it one by one so let's start off it's starting from org 4 times 0 h now to be more precise org is originate it is the command language by which, which by which we actually start a program basically just like hash include we do it in the c programming just like org 4 times 0 h Alright, so it is basically used to initialize the program basically or to start a program. The second is move a comma hash zero zero double x h. Now this double x can be filled with any number you want. So that's why I have just wrote double x so that we can write any number here. Alright, so these double x indicates the LSB of the first number. Alright. And these double zeros are the MSB of the first number. All right. So, what does this statement say us? This says says us that the, this statement copies the contents of the LSB. That is this double X. Sorry, here we go. The double X of the first number into the A. All right. So now we go on to the second, third. In the fact. This statement is as same as the second one, only the double X is replaced by double Y here and the register A is replaced by register B. Alright, so here we go. Double Y can be any number as I have explained you here for double X also. So what does this statement do? It copies the contents of the LSB of the second number. Alright, so this is just a copy copy of the contents of the LSB of the first and second number. So once we have copied this LSB of the second number or the first number and the second numbers we need to add them because the program says us adding the two 16-bit numbers alright so we have to add the MSB as well we have to add the LSB as well so first of all we are adding LSB so double X here indicates LSBs double Y here again indicates LSBs of the number so we use the command add A comma B what is A? This A is where this double X is being stored and this double Y is stored in B. So add A comma B. So what does this statement tells us? It tells us that we are adding the LSB of both the numbers. So for example, if double X is 22 and for example, the double Y is 33. So adding both of them should give us 55 H. All right. So we will just your doubts will be very much cleared when I will just type the program and we will simulate that program and that result that is stored in A is stored in R6 so we are transferring the contents of A into the R6 register right it's the register A you can call it or you can call it the accumulator is nothing the different thing so we are transferring the addition result from the accumulator that is this into the register R6 alright so what does it say that whatever addition we have done like the 55 H right now I told you so that will be stored not in the accumulator now but it will be stored in the R6 register all right and then that contents of the R6 register are stored in the 51 H memory location 
all right this will be very much confusing for you but it will be very clear when we start a simulation all right so now we are gonna add the or we can say we are gonna add the msb contents or copy the msb contents so here we go move a comma hash zzh zz can be any number this hash here basically i forgot to tell you this hash is immediate addressing mode basically it's a symbol of immediate addressing mode all right so zz can be any number again so this statement tells us copies the contents of the msb of the first number and again this r naught so copies the contents of the msb of the second number the double a can be any number here and now addc addc basically means add with carry so whatever uh, we add and whatever result we get the msb of both the numbers is being transferred here and we are transferring this result of accumulator again into r1 just as we did here basically in these two statements same would be here only the location will be changed from 51 h to 50 h all right and then we terminate the program all right so i guess the code is very well understood because of these comments just beside it so now we will just simulate the code here so here we go this is edge sim 51 version 1.1.9 dot 31 so you have got version 2 as well so you can download it from the link below i will be giving you the link in the description below so this is how the edge sim looks like this is the definition of all the pins basically of the 8051 basically all the ports basically and this is the what we can say the display area this is the graph area and this is used for the tx and rx that is used for the synchronized or we can say the communication that is UART communication. All right, this is a seven segment display. There are four seven segments attached together. And here we have to see our result, basically. So let's start typing our code here. Here we have to start typing our code. So let's start our code. So it's basically starting off like, here we go. So here we go, ORG four times zero zero H. So let's start typing ORG four times zero H we will enter this so we have initialized the program now we are typing move space a comma hash zero zero that's the MSB and now we can put any number so right now I'm putting 22 H you can put any number 99 89 79 69 59 or any kind of a number alright so again we will write this same code move space B comma hash zero zero any number so 33 h there we go so now we're gonna add both of this number that is 22 plus 33 will logically give us 55 and we have to prove that we get 55 here so that's what we are gonna do here so add a comma b all right so i just want to do this here we go i guess it's visible to you yes it's visible so now what we're gonna do is move this contents of the accumulator to the R6 register. Here we go. So the next one would be adding up the MSB here. So this is the code for the MSB. I'm gonna type, for example, 70H. You can type anything here. All right. I'm gonna press enter. So move R0. R0 is a register, mind well. So AAH. Instead of AA, I'm gonna put any number. So it might be 15 okay so let's press enter so let's go on to the next part of the code basically here i'm gonna just minimize the screen to hear this here we go so okay so it disappeared here we go here we go so the unnecessary part i have just cancelled out or omitted so uh, we were here all right so now we will add with carry a comma are not just as I have explained before what exactly ADC actually means now we're gonna contents of this transferring this contents of accumulator into the R1 register and then from the R1 register we are moving it to the memory location 50h and then we're gonna terminate it so after we're gonna have typed this code here we will just save this code first of all and I'm gonna save this as addition 
to my uh, file which I have saved on a desktop so now it is saved completely so first of all we need to check for any error so for checking for any error just go to this assembly source code just press this here you can see there is no errors all right so if there are any errors they will tell you on which line the errors would be so you can correct it so no errors so we can just run the code and just see the output now first of all before I run the code I would like to tell you where we will get those outputs basically as we have written in the code it's 22H and 33H these are the LSBs these are being added here and the addition would be yielding you 55H basically that 55H will be stored in R6 so we will get that 55H here in the R6 basically or here as well this is R6 how we can classify this this is 00, zero. so this is R and 6 so R6 so he will we will get here our answer that is 55 H then we have the uh, addition of the MSB so 70 H and 15 H so the 70 is the MSB of this whole number that is 7015 so 70 H will be stored in the exactly in the R0 register so here will be the 70 H basically when we will press the run option and also it will be stored in 50H memory location so 50H so here it will be stored the 70H and the 55H will be stored right beside it that is 51H alright so let's run the code and see like our predictions should go right so here we go run the code we are running the code and uh, it's running it's running and here we go so that's what we actually wanted to display and we have actually got the output here basically so here we have the result basically just I have explained you where are we gonna be finding the answers when we just simulate this so I'm gonna explain you again this 22 plus 35 will yield you 55 alright that 55 will be stored in the R6 register alright here we go so 55 stored in the R6 register and afterwards now we have the assembly programming in the assembly programming as I have told you it will be stored in R6 so we have to demonstrate it in the data memory as well so here we go in the code memory sorry so here we go R6 here we go the R6 is storing 55H so that's perfectly balanced so basically it's right so we're gonna add MSBs right now so 715 the MSB will be 70 and that will be stored in R1 register so here we got the R1 register here it's 70 store and uh, it will be stored in the 50H location oh here we go so 50H location has been stored so I guess we have just missed out or we haven't missed out on any point so as you can see one change here that as I have saved this accumulated contents or we can say transfer the accumulated contents in the memory location 50H here basically I haven't stored this register R6 into any of the memory locations that's why in R1 there is no contents of 55H but if you want to store that contents into 51H location so I can do that as well so just we'll press pause we can go to reset so that we can type the code again here we go so now I'm gonna add the statement that is call as move 51H comma R6 here we go so what we will do this R6 contains that is 55H will be stored in the 51H memory location so here we go we will assemble this no errors so run and here we go we see the output here so here is 55H so 51H holds the 55H value and 50H that is memory location 50H holds this 70H value so here we go that's how you simulate using the 8051 controller and the Edson 51 software and we have added two 16 bit numbers here so that's it for today folks see you very soon bye bye